Hello and welcome to Small Cap Nation. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site in Times Square. And with me today, Dr. Alfred Slanitz, the president and CEO of Genius Biotechnologies. I enjoyed reading about your company and this novel treatment uh, that you have for cancer. So tell me a little mm -hmm. bit more about that. Absolutely. So we're um, focused on really regenerating the immune system. So it sees um, previously overlooked antigens. And we build in certain um, functions into these cells outside the body, away from the cancer, including um, better killing activity, homing and, and, and going into the tumor to make it hot with T cells, and then also memory and duration to lock in a durable response. We have a GMP process to make these very, very effectively, which is done by a full um, you know, industry experienced uh, development team. And um, you know, we can basically, we believe, commercialize um, autologous uh, therapies, personalized therapies for patients' tumors in a very, very cost effective way and so, um, scalable way. Tell me how this treatment would differ or improve upon what we have now? Well, it's, it's really a paradigm shift in the way that we treat cancer. Right. And, um, you know, people have started with things like um, the PD-1 antagonist, of course, which everybody talks about. Um, those generally unleash the immune response, but the majority of tumors don't have enough mutations in them or enough mutated um, T cells reacted to mutated antigens to be effective. We basically can grow T cells to mutated antigens through our neoantigen research. We can um, grow um, T cells to viruses, to multiple antigens on, on these that are, so are so viruses that happen to be in the tumor, basically to have a diverse immune response which um, has a clinical effectiveness in both solid and also in hematologic tumors, but has so far anyway in the academic studies that have been done only mild flu-like symptoms. You have quite an interesting background. So you were at Genentech Biotech background and mm -hmm. then also you have led some companies that have been bought out. So yes. Tell me about that. Well, well yeah, or, or have gone public. Okay. Um, you know, so um, Bluebird Bio, I was CEO there for five years. Um, that was before it went public, but I basically um, developed the first um, you know, process and also the first um, data demonstrating uh, clinical effectiveness, um, complete reversal of, of, of two genetic diseases. I was involved in, in the commercial roles at Fovia and also at Esbitec, uh, both of which actually got sold to different pharmaceutical companies. Um, and I was with Transgene, which we took public, which was a gene therapy and cancer vaccine company. And of course, Genentech, where I served on the development teams of Herceptin and Rituxan and Zolaire and Avastin. Wow. Um, really immuno-oncology uh -huh. in, that, in that era. Uh -huh. The uh, treatment uh, that you're talking about, the novel treatment, is cost-effective. That is one of the things about it that makes it appealing. Yes, yes. Because of our, um, because of our process, we actually believe that we have a very, very low cost of goods sold with, at once we reach scale in our modular manufacturing facilities that we have designed. Um, basically, we have a cost of goods sold, which is um, you know, under um, $10,000. And um, you know, that, of course, gives you flexibility to make a reasonable profit, but also you know, really make uh, treatments accessible to patients sure. um, all over the world. How has the clinical trials been? Where does that stand? What's been the effectiveness of that? Yeah, so the, the <laughs> trials that I mentioned were done by academics, um, mainly in the Epstein-Barr virus field. So that the trials for this were approximately um, six months away from initiating our first um, study. Okay. And we actually have two um, that we have in the works. Um, one is focused on Epstein-Barr virus associated non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and gastric cancer, that should start in the second half of the year. And then um, the others focused on actually glioblastoma. That should be somewhere around June. And you have some investor money that you've used. What are the highlights of that? Well, we've raised um, $10 million so far to date. A million of it actually is my own money into the company. Mm -hmm. All common stock, okay. um, you know, very, very straightforward cap table. You know, our financials and everything are completely audited and we basically have a very, very high standard with a, um, as if we're a, almost a public company at this point okay. um, in terms of our accounting standards sure. and everything we're doing, mm -hmm. you know, from that perspective. And, and what operations. are your goals for 2017? Well, our, our goals are to basically um, raise um, 
a quick um, three to five million, and then a thirty million dollar round um, towards the, toward later in the year. Okay. Um, and basically, then, you know, to use with this three to five million, get into the clinic with our two programs, um, the Epstein Barbarus, the glioblastoma, um, have the neoantigen platform further along so that basically. And, and, and de-risk so that basically we know that we could be in the clinic potentially by the end of this year or early um, next year and have more visibility on that. By the um, middle of 2018 is when we expect to have the data from these early studies, including the um, EBV gastric cancer non-Hodgkin's, including the glioblastoma um, with three antigens as opposed to one, which has been done before. And then finally, um, our first neoantigen data towards um, the latter half of 2018, which we believe will be really exciting because, you know, that is the ultimate in personalized therapy to diverse antigens, which are totally tumor specific. Um, which we can grow T cells to. Okay, well, good luck. Yep. And thank you for sharing the story of Genius Biotechnology with us today, uh, Dr. Slanitz. And thank you as well for joining us on Small Cap Nation. Mm -hmm. For more interesting uh, stories about interesting companies, you can go to smallcapnation.com. I'm Jane King at the NASDAQ Market Site. Have a great day.